Now, Allen Iverson, when you think of Philadelphia basketball, you think of you. You said you fought hard for that. What was this moment like today? I mean, it was a great moment, you know, just knowing that, you know, uh, something like this in my life that I had to announce, you know what I mean? It, it was a, there's no way I would have um, came out with this whole thing without it being in Philadelphia because I, you know, I love these people so much and they love me and it was only the right thing to do. And there's so much buzz around the city, Alan, and just having you back here, I guess what makes Philadelphia so special? What is it about this city and then the blue collar work ethic just, just works for you? Just the fact that they love me and they embrace me the way they embrace me. And um, I gave everything I had to this city and I put everything on the line when I went out there and fought night in and night out. And they supported me through everything, you know, my ups and my downs. So it's always going to be a mutual respect when it comes to that. Your buddy LeBron James earlier this week, he said, look, Allen Iverson, pound for pound, the greatest player ever. What, what does that mean to you to have that kind of feedback? It's one of the greatest compliments that you can you can you can get because you know obviously he's the best player on the planet at this point um and i love him so much and i care about him you know what i mean we're, we're we're friends outside of basketball and you know for him to say that you know what i mean it's a it's, it's a a great feeling for me and um it's just something that i you know i appreciate and i cherish for the rest of my life you know it's monumental Hey, Dennis, it doesn't just end there. Dwayne Wade wears number three. He said he's proud to wear number three because AI wore number three. His first preseason game and regular season game was against you. He said he was so scared. Do you remember that moment? No, nah, I, I really don't remember that. You know what I mean? I'm an old man, so I don't remember anything like that. But, you know, I love him so much as a person before basketball or anything like that. I know what type of guy he is. And, you know, I've had experience being with him on the Olympic teams and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just a great feeling for him to say something like that and and, and, and keep it real and, you know what I mean, and let the people know, you know, what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, just, I just feel good about everything about, you know, I, I try so hard, you know, to, to, to not be emotional about stuff like this, but, you know, when it's dudes like that and, and, and dudes that I, you know, influenced and, and, and guys that I've been around like that and they feel like that about me, it's just a great feeling, man. And, you know, I love Dwayne Wade and, you know, I love LeBron James and I'm glad they feel the way they feel about me. Well, real recognizes real, right? Mark Zumoff said May 13th, 1999 was his favorite game, and you're his favorite sixer. He told our friends at the Daily News that. So great to be up here with all of your family. Congratulations, and uh, the city is really behind you, and, and we're really rooting for you. Thank you. I appreciate it.